The Live Dive is an interpretive program that we have here at the Sea Center. It's a really great program where Tyler and I go down into the water on full scuba. We have special masks that we wear that have a microphone and headset so we can actually communicate to the surface, as well as bring down a camera with us so that we can show the public what we're seeing uh, underwater. something I'm really passionate about. I love scuba diving and I, I like to share that with people who may never get the chance to actually do it for themselves. I love to show people the octopus. I think it's such a, an alien creature in a way. It's so different than, than what people see here on land. I love big schools of fish all schooling together. I feel like that's a really dynamic thing to show people and oftentimes the very little things that, that people don't expect to be there. You come up to a piling and it just looks like piling there and you zoom in and there's all this life covering the piling. Some of my favorite things that we see down during live dive would be the really colorful animals that people wouldn't think would be in our waters. So Spanish shawl nudibranchs is a good example. Their main body is bright purple and then the frills off their back called serrata are bright orange. Usually bright colored animals like that you find in the tropics. So it's really cool to see something like that right here under the wharf. So while we're down underneath the wharf, we do have one of our interpretation team, Topside, up here on the wharf who can help facilitate any questions or comments. These are very knowledgeable people who have been trained in all the exhibits at the Sea Center. Most of them are divers too, so they can answer any questions that, that guests have and help to further explain uh, what we're seeing down below as well. Conditions can be very dynamic when we're uh, ready to do a dive. Sometimes we'll have crystal clear visibility where you can see the contours in the sand. Other times the water looks like chocolate milk and definitely not pristine dive conditions by any means. Another way that the live dives can be very different is from the sense of life that we get. Sometimes it's a lot of benthic animals, animals that live on the bottom, like snails, uh, we see crabs, things like that. Other times there'll be big schools of fishes. It's just a very dynamic process and we never know what we're going to see. The nice thing is we have a nice bank of videos that we can pull from that we've taken while we've been under, sometimes on the live dive, sometimes on our own dives later for collections and things like that. So if conditions are so poor or even dangerous so that we can't go in the water, we have this nice bank that we can pull from and we talk about it, we talk about our gear. The kids really like coming up and interacting with the gear and seeing what it's like to be a scuba diver. When people leave live dive, I hope that they leave with a better respect for the ocean and I hope that it inspires them to get involved with conservation and education efforts. I really hope that people who come to the live dive leave with a sense of awe of the importance of the ocean and also just the amazing amount of life that we see right underneath us that we take for granted.